Hey guys, today we got the uh, 3D printed no toast. So we're gonna take it out for another flight. I took it out and flew it uh, just after I, I got done building it. It flew really good. And so today we're just gonna go out and fly it a little more and get some more flight footage for you guys. Uh, this is a really sweet build. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my build video for it, I got a full detailed build video of this whole thing. I purchased SDL files for it. I got the links in the description below. Uh, and this whole thing is 3D printed. I mean, it's, it's sweet and it flew really good. So we're gonna go out and fly it again today. Uh, one of the cool features that Plane Prints got is these uh, system to put these wings on. There's no tools required. Just use these TPU tabs here. Um, so it's awesome. We'll just slide this carbon around into this wing here. And then just slide this right onto the fuselage here. I'm gonna use the same, uh, there's an angle of attack adjustment on this, uh, and I set it up at 0.5, um, so we're just going to leave it at that. And then just attach that TPU spot there, and then it's on, and we'll put the other wing on. A couple people are asking about the CG for this plane. Uh, I'm using a 2200 milliamp four cell battery and with the motor and everything I have set up, I did have to add a little bit of lead to the nose. Uh, so I've got uh, one ounce there of lead to get the CG set. And that sets it right up there. Uh, I did move the ESC pretty much as far forward as I could too to get the CG forward. Uh, you could use a little bit larger battery too that would set it. I did bring a little bit larger battery today. So I'm gonna fly it on the smaller one and then I might put a little bit heavier battery in and try that also. Uh, but the CG worked really good on the first flight, setting it like this. So uh, we're gonna go ahead with that and it still comes out to pretty good weight. We'll try that with a little bit bigger battery and the CG set. Let's see what we come up with our weight here. Yeah, so we're still at about 15.50 for you know, 1.3 meter wing, that's a really good weight. There's actually a, a foam uh, F3A that I looked at for some reference for motor and prop sizes and stuff, and it was like almost the same weight uh, as this. Uh, so it was really cool to see that the lightweight PLA version that Plane Print designed is pretty much as light as the uh, F3A that you can purchase, so that's pretty cool. Um, all right, let's, uh, I might strap a camera on here also, and we'll take it up and go fly. This Notos flies so well. This is actually my first aerobatic airplane, uh, and so I'm very novice aerobatic pilot. I've been practicing flying uh, on my flight simulator at home. Uh, as I was in the process of building this plane, I would just uh, work on that and practice knife edge and inverted flight. I didn't quite get comfortable uh, flying knife edge on my simulator, uh, so I don't actually do any of that here, but I just do some inverted flight and some rolls. Uh, plane print on his flight video he does some pretty good knife edges on his uh, flight video but the side of the fuselage has a nice area there on the side uh, that has a good amount of surface area to do good knife edge uh, flying uh, so this airplane has 
so much capability. Uh, it has a really good power to weight ratio. It, like I said earlier, it's, it is very lightweight for the wingspan that it's at. It should, it's just right around where it should be at. Uh, and then there's all kinds of power setups you can do with this. So uh, I'd say the motor that and the prop setup I put in here is uh, you know pretty small. I mean, you can go way bigger motor. You can actually go bigger prop also. Like I mentioned in the build video, I'd, you can go up to about 15 inch prop on this plane. Uh, and really get a lot more power uh, on this airplane. And uh, but with this power setup, it has pretty good capability. I mean, I can go vertical really well uh, and have plenty of power. So uh, really fun plane to take out. Definitely recommend building this airplane if you guys like doing aerobatic flying and stuff. This is a really good one to do. Uh, like I said, it's fully 3D printed. Got the full build video step-by-step. -step. Uh, you guys can get your 3D printer, get some STL files, get some PLA and some lightweight PLA and print this out at home and put this whole thing together. It's so much fun to fly. I definitely recommend building a 3D printed airplane. Uh, even if it's not this one, I got all kinds of other 3D printed airplanes on my channel. So make sure to check that out. You guys can hit the subscribe button down there in the corner. Um, and I'm just going to keep flying this a little bit more, show you guys some more flight footage of this thing. It's so fun to fly. I'm definitely going to be taking this out and practicing my aerobatic maneuvers a little bit more. All right, they're gonna take up for flight two. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and uh, if you guys like this plane, make sure to go check out my build video. You can purchase the STL files down the link and we'll see you guys in the next build.